Hi, I'm Mark with BHM Farm Equipment. We're continuing with our Tractor Basics series today, and this video is going to focus on the front end loader. The front end loader is probably the most useful piece of equipment you'll have on your tractor. Most people say when they get a tractor with a loader, their wheelbarrow doesn't come out very often anymore. There's a few basic things to keep in mind that involve safety and general usefulness for your loader. How I have the loader positioned is what I would call your general carrying height. One funny thing is kind of if you're blocking the headlights, that's probably about where your general carrying height is on the tractor. This is where the tractor is going to have a good amount of lift capacity. It's going to be most balanced with the weight on the rear of the tractor. And this is generally where you want to carry your load. If the load is extra heavy, keeping it low to the ground is a good idea. You just have to watch where your clearance is with your loader. There are some dangers to be aware of with the front end loader. And the first I'm demonstrating right now. This loader is at full height and rolled completely the whole way back. You can see if I had rocks or dirt or any load in the loader at this point, it would either be on the hood or on my lap. I don't want what I'm carrying in the loader in either of those locations. So when you're lifting the loader, you need to keep your load balanced and be sure a situation like this does not occur. Another thing that is pretty much a requirement with a front end loader is to have some sort of rear ballast on the tractor. The vast majority of the tractors we sell either have liquid ballast in the rear tires or a weight box or rear weights to provide that ballast to balance the load that you're going to be picking up in your loader. A great feature found on most compact tractors is that the loader has what's called the float position. To engage the float position, you just take the loader joystick and push it down past the normal down position where you see it will engage in a detent. What that does is it takes the pressure off the lift cylinders on the loader and it allows the loader to float and follow the contours of your driveway like when you're pushing snow or it can be used to back drag with the loader and the even material out like stone. Standard skid steer quick attach is a feature on a lot of compact tractors and every Coyote comes with them now. This is great and then it has universal attachments kind of like the three point hitch um, that are made to fit the skid steer quick attach. One of the downsides of this is there's universal fitments and attachments that are made for big skid steers can also hook up to small subcompact tractors. You want to make sure that you're still sizing the implement that you're using on the front to the size and the frame of the tractor that you have. The final tip I have for the front end loader is that if you're going to take it off, do it on a level surface, such as a concrete shop floor or your driveway. That's going to make reinstall the loader a lot easier. I hope you found this basics video on the front end loader helpful. Feel free to check out other basics videos if you're a new tractor owner. Thanks for watching.